J Bones First Taste. And this is the IPA series of First Taste because I have seven IPAs that I'm going to try. I typically do not like IPAs, but on a previous video last week, I tried the Bell's Two Hearted Ale. It was probably the first IPA that I really liked. So I thought to myself, well, let's just get into it. There's like 30, 40, 50, you name it. You name a number, that's how many IPAs there are out there today. So I figured, well, I'm just gonna try them. And I picked out seven this morning from the supermarket. And this is the first one I'm going to try. And it is called New Belgium Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. Don't know what to expect from this, except that fella at work told me it was really good. So, without further ado, let's pour it up. Hmm. Looks pretty good. All right, pour a little faster. Come on. My nose has been funky this week. I haven't been really able to smell anything, but that's not unusual, is it? Wow. Right away, the color looks real good, like a orange juice almost. Oh yeah, I can smell that. I don't smell orange. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like lime or something. Lime and grapefruit probably. I read just a tiny bit of this this morning that it had like lime and grapefruit in it. I'm probably getting a little bit of that anyway. It's real. I can taste the grapefruit, which is which is okay. I typically like grapefruit, but I don't like grapefruit in beer, I don't think. I'm having a hard time making up my mind about this. No, shut up. Yeah, it's not real to me. And I hate hops. It doesn't taste real, really hoppy. Let's read here. Packed with bright tropical aromas and brilliant citrus flavors, this unfiltered IPA wraps up with a pleasant, smooth finish. Deep pale orange with an opaque haze. Oh, I did. It does kind of look like orange juice. Excuse me. Very strong hop aroma of citrus, lemon, some orange, lime, and grapefruit. So that's what I read this morning and typical guava and pineapple. Well, tropical, not typical. With light grassy and caramel-like malt aroma. I can smell kind of the grapefruit, but my nose isn't the, the greatest one. So the flavor says, a little sweet initially, becoming smoothly bitter. Yeah, yeah, I kind of agree with that. I wouldn't say smoothly bitter though. I would just say, you know, bitter. Not like bitter, but yeah, yeah, it's bitter. Clean finish, medium body. That's the mouth feel. How does, how do you even come to describe a mouth feel? I don't know. Like, are you just like making love to the beer or something? ABV, 7.5%. 42 IBUs, so that's up there on the IBUs that typically that I like. American Heffenweizen yeast, 230 calories. I don't know why they put calories. I guess that's an FDA thing. I don't know. Like, nobody cares about the calories in beer. Uh, Citra, Cascade, Centennial, Sim Simcoe, and Nugget Hops. There's probably like three people in the world that can just know exactly what all those hops are. I'm not one of them. Pale wheat C80 oats. That's the malts. Again, there's probably those same three people that know the hops know exactly what those malts are. It'd be nothing to me. 
So anyway, this is the Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. Oh, no. I'm not going to put it on the list that I like. It's just that I know IPAs are bitter. I know what to expect from them. But I set the bar kind of high with that two-hearted ale. And that was good. It didn't taste as bitter as this. But this has just got that bitterness in it that I don't like in IPAs. So this is the one that I was looking most forward to because it was highly recommended. So I'm sure the other six will be a disappointment as well. But, uh, Juicy Haze. Voodoo Ranger Juicy Haze IPA. I do like the artwork on the can. That is neat. So they did something right. This is Jay Bones. This is his first taste with the IPA series. See ya.